This is Mary Greeley. Of course, a lot of you folks go see her for her Yellowstone reports, which uh, I'm still a little confused on because I've been on this lady just as long as Suspicious Observer to speak about the moon and she won't mention it. But she's here talking about this and not blocked. So let's listen in. Well, guess what? The FDA has restricted the use of Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine due to blood clot risks. Well, I guess all those conspiracy theories that people were saying that the Johnson & Johnson one-dose COVID vaccine could cause blood clots in a small number of people who received it. Recently, I got two calls from the CDC asking questions about vaccines and our family's history of vaccines, including grandchildren and everybody that lived in the house. Actually, it's premeditated because I did the video that is still here, still up on this fucking channel from Moderna, talking about exactly this and what's going to happen with your blood system and your heart. I went to the manufacturers and the CDC and brought out the paperwork and YouTube is banning me every time I say something about it. Libel, YouTube. Guilty of mass fucking murder. You pieces of shit. Get the phone calls to stop. The FDA has reversed course, ruling the risk of the side effects called thrombosis. I'm sorry, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I'm still working on my first cup of coffee today. With thrombocytopenia syndrome outweighs the benefits. The blood clots form in unusual places such as veins that drain blood from the brain. FDA vaccine chief Dr. Peter Marks said the agency made the decision after re-examining the data on the risk of life-threatening blood clots, concluding that they are limited to Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Now, supposedly out of the 17 million Americans who received the Johnson & Johnson shot, federal scientists have identified 60 cases of the side effect, including nine that were fatal as of <coughs> mid-March. That amounts to 3.23 blood clot cases per million Johnson & Johnson shots. Risk of death from COVID is like uh, 0 0.1 or 0 0.3. You got a higher rate of complications from the vaccine than from the COVID. The problem is more common in women under 50, where the death rate was roughly 1 per 1 million shots, according to Marx. So what the FDA now is recommending that it is limiting the emergency use authorization of the Johnson & Johnson uh, Jenison COVID-19 vaccine to people 18 years and older for whom other vaccines aren't approved or accessible <clears throat> and those who opt for the Johnson & Johnson because they wouldn't otherwise get vaccinated. I think of all the people who have had their accounts shut down, blocked and shadow banned for putting out because we here in the social community heard about these blood clots and reported them and i read about them at patient 30 before the thing was invented and more i made a video they didn't ban, ban me for that one it was before the whole censorship began see if you were looking to prove premeditated murder and try to stop somebody, you might have wanted to watch that one. It's got 500 views on it. 500. Some of these things I put out, and in fucking three hours, I got 1,500 views. That one has been sitting there for two years with 500 views on it. And I told you exactly what to expect from this shit. Long before it was even tried to be patented. Or fucking applied for any kind of emergency, anything. I was showing what it was going to do. And it's still there. They didn't hit me on that one. And then suffered the uh, censoring because of that.
So what are your thoughts? Put those comments down below. Thank you. I think YouTube is guilty of mass murder. And they need to fucking reinstate my goddamn account. And everybody else that's been talking about this shit. Now.